Hi guys, Tony here from IKEA Rose. Today I've got uh, an 18 TFSI Audi in with me. Um, this should be the same for all Audis. Um, Volkswagen range with that 18 or possibly even the 2 litre TFSI engine on it. As you can see, engine management lights on and you've got an erratic idle. Um, car drives alright uh, once it gets up to speed but it is uh, quite clearly not idling correctly. Um, putting the fault codes on it. Um, we've got P05 0700 idle speed RPM higher than expected. Um, there's an over advanced for camshaft B. And then you've got this P22790 intake air system. And then we've got some map and mass airflow issues. Okay, so there's quite a lot of codes in this, but the main one there is the air intake, intake air system. Like, um, and I'm going to show you how you can check it to see if this is what the problem is. Basically, the PCB valves, um, there's a diaphragm inside it and it breaks. So, we're going to take a look under the bonnet and see how we diagnose it. Okay guys, so over here, top of the engine, this is a PCV valve, okay, um, what I first noticed was this, you're putting your finger over the end of it, but in order to find the vacuum leak, a wee bit of brake cleaner, and you can hear the engine hunting. and as the brake cleaner hits it, you can hear the note change of the engine, which is denoting where the brake, the leak is. Okay, you can spray it on the manifold for manifold leaks. You hear there's nothing. Don't go too mad with it, obviously. But as soon as you go over the PCV valve, you can hear the note change as it draws in a wee bit of brake cleaner. What normally happens is there's a diaphragm in here, and the diaphragm breaks. Okay. So I'm going to pull this cover off, there's clips, excuse me, clips all around the outside of it. And what we're going to do is go in with a pick, and just pick them off, and take up this cover, and then we'll try and see the, the diaphragm and see if there's any leaks on it. Okay, so going in around the edges here, you're prying in underneath these tabs. on that okay so just watch underneath there's a spring under the cap and then better light this here is a rubber diaphragm and you can see that the oils get into it Deteriorated it and oh, now it's leaking. Now, there's companies that do upgraded seals of this, so all you have to do is order in the seal, replace that seal, take all that out, put it back together again with a cap on it, or you can, and what I'm probably going to do is replace this whole unit, but it comes, um, this whole bit comes in it, all this comes on one piece okay but I thought it might be a good one for you if you get caught out with it um, I think it's, it's a pretty common fa fa failure in them so I thought I may as well give you a shout all right like and subscribe as always thanks for watching